What is up guys? I'm Matt's Creative and welcome to another video. Today, we're basically going over DNF and it's many, many, uh, how do I call it? Commands that you can do, I guess, variables. I don't know how to explain it, but today is going to be how to update Fedora. So if you're new to Fedora, this is for you. If you are a beginner, this is for you. If you're one of those elitists who complain about everything and don't like the fact that Linux is gaining new users, you can hop over to Reddit because that's where you live. Now, to get started, it's simple. This is Fedora, okay? We're on Fedora Linux 41. This is the workstation edition. And uh, this is GNOME desktop, and I'm, in a cur and, I'm, and I'm in the terminal right now, okay? You do not want to update Fedora using software. That's the GNOME software store or Discover. Avoid those completely. They can break your install. This is a known fact. Unfortunately, they still push package kit, which causes a lot of problems. Avoid it at all cost, okay? This is my system right here in case you want to know what I've got going on. And that's Balma. Now, she's there for a test, honestly. She shows up every time I do this. It's kind of entertaining, to be honest. But uh, we're going to hit clear. We're going gonna... to start by typing clear so that I can get rid of Balma. And uh, this is the command. We're going to zoom in some more. sudo dnf update dash dash refresh that command is going to refresh your repositories okay and it's going to allow you to get the newest update but let's go over some other things what is dnf well pretty much it's the dandy the dandified yum it's a package managed for rpm based linux distros now you will get good performance from dnf if you configure it correctly and i'm going to cover that in another video I honestly should have done this video. I know, you know what? I'm going to upload that, how to do that video first so that you guys, when you come to this, will have your best speeds possible. So yeah, there you go. This one was technically recorded first. Now, what is sudo? Well, sudo, it allows the user to execute commands with administrator privileges. All right. So again, uh, DNF summons the package manager update summons the ability to update and adding refresh basically forces DNF to refresh the cache of repository metadata before performing the update. This allows you to get the newest packages and so on and so forth. Now I have unupdated Fedora 41 in a long time. We have 166 packages to go through that I know of, but there might be more. And even Microsoft Edge would not work because I haven't done this for so long. So let me go over what we have here for the most part. Uh, LibOffice, so it's updating LibreOffice, it's updating Glibc, GameScope, uh, Flatpak stuff, Dolphin uh, Libs, and it's removing old kernels, and it's installing a new kernel and a new KVM core. There's a lot of stuff here. It's kind of small, so we're just going to hit yes. And hitting yes, you're going to see fast download speeds, and it's going to download multiple files at once. So and go so as you can see uh, it downloads up to 20 packages at a time which is good some packages that are bigger are going to take longer but the speeds are okay and it's finished now if you have nvidia and you're using the rpm fusion way of nvidia after we do this you're going to want to do sudo ack mods okay this will force ack mods to rebuild because sometimes people just automatically are going to be like uh, I don't even care, right? They're going to just be like, I'm going to reboot right after. And then they boot back into a black screen and they're like, why is it black? I need help. And then they get informed that they should have waited before, you know, restarting. Because it's very, very important to do a few steps before restarting anyway, no matter which graphics cards you have or what system you have. Because, again, things can happen. And you don't want that. So now that that's done, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be typing sudo. This is for you NVIDIA guys only. Act mods. I don't have any act mods. Uh, it's going to check for K mods and stuff like that. Uh, we can also do K mods. Again, K mods aren't there, but it says K mods are there. So I don't understand that one. We are going to do draw caught dash F slash dash regenerate. 
regenerate all. And we're doing this so all the modules can be updated with the newest kernel in mind and the oldest kernel in mind. In case you have issues, you can boot into an older kernel like I had to do. All right, so that's going to finish any second now. So now that that's done, you guys can reboot and you should be able to boot right back in. This is a good path for learning how to maintenance your system. So just try to understand that. It's not here to deter you or to scare you back to Windows. Again, until a proper updating software is built for Fedora that actually does take things like this in mind, you have to do this. And it's a good thing that you do your own system maintenance because trusting other programs can sometimes lead to issues or a broken system. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you're new here, if you're looking for help, check out my Linux guides in the description below. It's a playlist. It will hold everything I've done so far, including Fedora guides, Arch guides, whatever. If you want to help support me on YouTube, you can do that by joining as a member or you can go to Ko-Fi and join as a member there for, you know, if you really appreciate my work and I will see you guys next time.